students today we are going to learn about von Haber cycle I am Dr. C. Tamare Chilvi, Associate Professor of Chemistry, the Standard Fireworks Rajaratnam College for Women, Sivakasi. Suppose we have to determine the lattice energy of an ionic solid, Mx. Its lattice energy can be determined by a process known as von Haber cycle, devised by von Haber in 1919. The various steps of this process can be shown graphically as a cycle. Hence the name von Haber cycle. These are the learning objectives of a von Haber cycle. Can you able to construct a von Haber cycle? By using the von Haber cycle, you have to calculate the lattice energies for a given compound. These are the key, key words used in the von Haber cycle. First one is lattice energy. The lattice energy of an ionic crystal may be defined as the decrease in energy that takes place in the process of bringing the ions from an infinite distance to their equilibrium position in the stable lattice. Next one electron affinity. The electron affinity that is nothing but of the amount of energy released when an electron is added to an isolated neutral gaseous atom in its lowest energy state to produce an anion is called its electron affinity. Next term is ionization energy. The definition for ionization energy is the amount of energy required to remove the most loosely bound electron from an isolated gaseous atom of an element in its lowest energy state to produce a cation is known as ionization energy that is called as ionization potential. This is the potential energy diagram for an ionic compound. Next, you will see the von Haber cycle. That uses of von Haber cycle. The main uses of the von Haber cycle is to determine the electron affinities of elements which are difficult to determine by other methods. And the next, it is useful in analysis and correcting the stability of various ionic compounds and also helps to understand why most metals fail to form a stable ionic compounds in low oxidation states. That von Haber cycle applies Hess's law to calculate the lattice enthalpy. What does mean by Hess's law? That is the change in enthalpy for a reaction is the same whether the reaction takes place in one or series of steps. So the change in enthalpy for a reaction is same whether the reaction takes place in one or series of steps. Next uh, see the example von Haber cycle for the formation of NaCl. The, this method is based on the assumption that the formation of one mole of on crystalline Mx can occur either by the direct combination of uh, metal and halogen or by an alternative process which consists of 5 steps. The first step is the direct method that is a direct combination of metal in solid state and a halogen in gaseous state. It is a single step reaction and the energy equal to the heat of formation of Mx that is released in it. It is an in exothermic process. So the release of energy had be shown by putting a negative sign before it. Next step is an alternative process. Next is an alternative process. First step is the sublimation of metal in solid state it directly goes to the gaseous state. In this step one mole of this solid M absorbs energy equal to its sublimation energy and is this sublimed to gaseous state. This is an endothermic process. So the absorption of energy has been shown by putting positive sign before the sublimation process. Next step is the um, ionization of metal into metal ion. Each metal atom absorbs energy equal to its ionization energy and losses its outermost electron to form a uh, cation. It is an endothermic process. So here also we have put the positive sign associated with the 
ionization potential or ionization energy that indicates the absorption of energy in the process. Next step, third step is the, this is the dissociation of halogen into the halogen atom. In this step, half of a molecule of halogen absorbs energy equal to the half of the dissociation energy and it is converted into atom. It, it is the endothermic process. So, the absorption of energy is shown by positive sign. Next conversion of halogen into anion. The atom adds an ele electron given out by <coughs> the step 3 to form a X minus. In this process, X in gaseous state releases energy equal to its electron affinity. Hence, we put the negative sign before it. It is an exothermic process. Next, finally, the combination of metal cation and then halogen anion to form a solid. This is the final step in which cation formed in step 3 and anion formed in the final step combined together to form one mole of a solid Mx. In this process, the energy equal to the lattice energy equal to the lattice energy of Mx is released. Hence, the negative sign before the lattice enthalpy, it is an exothermic process. Now, we have to calculate the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride. Uh, from this value, we calculate the lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride. First, uh, the enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride as a minus 411 kilojoule per mole and enthalpy of automation of sodium I uh, have put the positive sign, so 107 kilojoule per mole and enthalpy of automation of chlorine is also a positive sign, it is an endothermic process, so the uh, 122 kilojoule per mole and enthalpy of first ionization energy of sodium is 496 kilojoule per mole and the enthalpy of electron affinity of chlorine, it is, uh, here it is an exothermic process. So, we have put the negative sign minus 349 kilojoule per mole. From this value, we have to calculate the uh, lattice formation of the sodium chloride. This is the equation to calculate the lattice formation of in the enthalpy of lattice formation. It is delta H F is equal to delta H A that is the automation of uh, enthalpy of automation of sodium plus enthalpy of ionization energy of sodium plus enthalpy of automation of chlorine and add enthalpy of electron affinity of chlorine and enthalpy of lattice formation. Okay. From this equation we have to calculate the enthalpy of lattice formation. All this except the enthalpy of lattice formation all these values are given in the above table. So, Finally, you will get the value, summation of this value, you will get the enthalpy of lattice formation is equal to minus 787 kilojoule per mole. This is the activity for you. First, construct a bond Haber cycle for magnesium bromide. Thank you for watching, continue in the next class, thank you.
Thank you for watching this video. For more courses and modules, visit www.sfrmlearning.org. Thank you.